So before I start this video, here's a bit of a disclaimer. Do not try anything you're about to see at home. Um, propane in your R12 system. If there's a leak, that could potentially become a torch and uh, that's just not a good time. So this is for entertainment, proof of concept, uh, purposes only. Don't try this at home. So I have this 1989 Toyota Corolla and as you know, back in the day, the AC systems on these older vehicles used a refrigerant called R12 instead of the modern R134. Uh, R12 was pretty bad for the environment if it uh, leaked out of the system. So they transitioned to the less harmful, I guess. It's still pretty harmful, but less harmful R134 refrigerant. But anyways, these older cars, you know, this, this car is like almost 30 years old, 29 years old or so. And over time, you know, you'll just have leaks. Your R12 will leak out. And it's really expensive to get this R12 refrigerant. They don't man like it's illegal to manufacture now. So whatever R12 is out there in the world is pretty much all we're going to get for the most part. Um, so servicing your AC system is kind of uh, kind of a pain. It's going to be expensive to fill it unless you use propane. Now, like I said, this is just proof of, proof of concept. So don't try this at home. But this Corolla had a uh, a low charge of R12, and I had it evacuated, and I put propane in the system, just as a, a proof concept. I'll carry on a fire extinguisher, uh, just in case, but uh, that's beside the point. But anyways, just wanted to show that propane does actually work in the cooling system of a car with R12, um, that, or that came from the factory with R12 refrigerant originally. Now, if your car is like, I think the switchover was like 94, 95, I think it was 95. But if you have one of those newer vehicles that use R134, just use R134. It's uh, better for your system. It's, you know, it's what it, it was designed for. And you can go anywhere, pretty much like gas stations, auto parts stores, even Walmart will have cans of R134 for you to use. So propane in this system is only good if your car originally came with R12. So let me show you how I did this. So going into the firewall, you have the narrower high pressure line, and then you have the bigger low pressure line. So the high pressure line I didn't mess with. Low pressure, I got an R12 to R134 adapter. And then I rigged up this system. This is just a, a regular run of the mill R134 refrigerant adding hose. This is an old one, R134 can. Butchered some stuff in there and that goes to a propane fitting. So, just pop it on like normal, hook, it, hook up your propane tank, and just start adding. Let me show you how well this uh, refrigerant actually works. So here's where we are. The uh, AC chills down to about 52 degrees, and then it cycles from about 52 all the way up to like 59 degrees. So. It'll be 52, compressor turns off, it warms up to about 60 degrees, or about 59 degrees, compressor turns back on and it's just like up and down, up and down. So there it goes, almost 59. And let's see if it'll start coming back down. Yeah, then it starts coming back down right there. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's pretty cool in here, it's about, upper 70s maybe outside, maybe 80. And uh, I'm just sitting here in my garage. So I, I'm assuming that as I'm driving, and I actually have really good airflow over the AC condenser, these numbers will be lower and it'll stay even cooler. So like I said, proof of concept only. I'm not gonna run this uh, for very long. I'm actually gonna do an R134 conversion on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pipe out all the propane, replace the mineral oil in the compressor with PAG oil. Yeah, with PAG oil, that's an odd name. But uh, replace the compressor oil and uh, replace all the other little little bits that need to be replaced for an R134 conversion. And uh, it'll be all good. So yeah, don't worry about this. Just proof of concept for entertainment purposes only. It's not gonna stay like this. Uh, so. I have other videos coming out. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give this video a like. Share this uh, video and my channel to your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.